Smoke soon to fade next to Connector. It's Mihu back to back with Cirque trying to guard both sides. Ah, that was ugly. <laughs> and uh, well, Cirque did get one before his death as well. So man advantage as the retake starts going. Obo able to get the head of Grim. You know, Obo's track record versus Liquid basically non-existent. And I think that's you know that's the unfortunate thing is that with with. You know, if we had the full-fledged EG, then I would like to see them test Liquid. I would like to see if they still have some kind of a... Here's why everyone should double their sense. Okay. Because what is the point of having a sense as low as Mihu if you can miss like that? Mm -hmm. When people miss their shots on a low sensitivity, they don't blame their sensitivity. When they miss their shots on a high sensitivity, they blame their sensitivity. He can hold angles and sit inside this of smoke. It's great for the tendons. <laughs> it's great for the tendons. His health is at an all-time high, yeah. and uh, we'll see if he can punish as Naf just very quickly melts three players over towards apartments. Daps does get that head turn, and it opens up the B site large enough for Cirque, who also had a kill, to plant the bomb. So this is a curious situation because Daps just added Stewie to the tally. Daps! Oh, oh he's going huge! This is a CZ to an M4 to a potential round win unless Grim comes in with the 1v2. And does he challenge? Challenges through the smoke. Cirque just turned his attention. Grim gives chase, gets that kill. That's oh! It was a hell of an effort, but it's Grim's in with the clutch. 1v2, didn't take a smidgen of damage for Team Liquid's third round. That is so unforged for Cirque in important ways. But yeah, yeah, I think so for sure. Okay, the attack is potentially coming. Grim on a time, it could peek out, but he's not watching this for a fallen. Sounds a little strange, but Grim does find the trade, and the and the op can get recovered as well. Yeah, at the very least, Grim had to make sure he traded that. Now Grim's in a bit of a pickle. He's got T's pushing and pressuring each side of him. Miku getting the better of a liege over on the catwalk as the A site crumbles to the favor of Liquid. Miku's half health dropped by Stewie Two K. Liquid on fire as quick as can be. Mm -hmm. See if they can do it with the late lurk without the late lurk from Daps. Now, with another op shot, they're feeding him. Yeah, he's having a good night so far. Elysian with the solo AK kill, and, well, speak the devil, Miku. Double Deagle. Oh. Fallen's got pistols all around him, but Daps just runs into the shot. Cirque's there, able to get his hands on an AWP, and now we've got both terrorists with snipers looking for the CT peaks, one of which connects. It's on to Grim. Yet again. Oh, he's got a timing. Yes, he does. They think they've got him locked in, but now that he's up close on these snipers, Ooh. Grim with the double spray down makes it look easy. That's two 1v2s from Grim so far from Market Backdoor. They don't believe in NAF, but they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? They, they keep like, coming this way. Uh, they just want it. When NAF has a strong start like this, give him a little room to cool off. Uh-oh. Elige actually down for the count, but of course, Nafly on the kill feed, and he tries to work his way around it. Miku has that. been so crucial in creating openings. Yeah, great refrags from him. Last round, double Deagle. This round, double M4. Stewie 2K tries to rush down the bomb plant, but instead gets the kill towards bench. Mihu comes off of the site and is now on for another one. Cirk gets grim. Fallen decides to concede. That is EG on the scoreboard. By chance. Let's see if Mihu if he'll make a sound cue for Mihu. Flash comes up a ramp, and Fallen will rotate out, but he's going out through window. Double Molotovs inside sight, but neither of them screw with Stewie. Stewie, he's going to be the playmaker. He sees the barrel of the off, decides to extend, gets the other two players, knows the third one's there, and dodges back into the cover. 25 seconds. Fire finally on the feet of Stewie. And in this moment, Cirque has no assistance, but inevitably it'll get there because Mihu with the wraparound gets shut down. Oh, they have fumbled the ball. Cirque loses information as to where Stewie's gotten off, and with seven seconds, that's it. Stewie 2K, big play to give Liquid their seven. Mm -hmm. And they're hunting this down. Cirque running away, very low HP. Cirque will hit a warm up shot on Stewie for that, uh, for, at, for at least being able to save that off, but. But had something to do with B. They all got damaged pretty badly for the try. Cirk looking at default. Oh, great shot. Clean. That's Grim down. Uh, and there's... Oh, I was thinking there was a timing for Stu. They both flick up and look at the window. Elise trades one. They saw two players there. 3v4 on the site. Mihu finds a lurk. And this is where the CTs Ooh. fall apart. Beautiful stuff. Nice round, Mihu. Very yeah. nice round. Can they do the unthinkable? Can they get themselves on fire within this half? They go to Naf uh, again. They're keeping it simple. Hey, pray to me who maybe don't send him out first. Oh man, look at him fly! Oh, the leash gets there. That could have been 
a very big opening for EG. Instead, it gets completely clamped down on. That was ugly. Dirt nasty. It's like a launder's mouse pad. You, okay, you, you said that twice so far. What? Both about me who's flick sometimes. Stay stay tuned, folks, for the next big leash frag. Scrawn Dog's got a lion. Shot in from Fallen on the ramp. Grim still up on under Balk. Of course, we know these two are always creating connections. Oh my god, the Ox scope actually <laughs> almost gets him killed. But we've got players looking the other way. It's all good, baby. Everybody's fragging here on CT side. It's all coming together, all in the A sites. And that's around where, you know, that particular A attack, it's not just Fallen and Grim alone for the first 50 seconds. Dewey's right here to help, and wow. That's crazy. He, did, You had to slow it down to see. He did not notice until he unscoped. Yep. If, you know, if there's one big drawback of the AUG, it's got to be that tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Performance in these last few rounds. Man still can't catch up to Naf, who may get a chance to pad the stats as this one comes to an end. But Spellin survives it all. What is going on? I don't know what is happening. We've got... Two players from Liquid spamming as much damage as they thought they possibly could. Look at the HP here for Mihu, Spellin, and Oboe. Looks like a Winamp equalizer. It's gonna have to be a retake attempt. Grim with another, uh, no. Grim's dead, and so is Stewie. So they just forced their way into the B site. We run that back 10 times. I don't know how many moments EG actually walk away. Smoke for the cat play, and the bomb rushes its way through connector. So Fallen's just looking to be a nuisance, keep these CTs pinned. It is Daps on the solo A play. Spellin just got killed through smoke on catwalk, so now everything for Evil Geniuses is going to hinge on Daps by the ticket booth and these three counter terrorists rotating through their spawn. While they rotate it over, Naf decides to commit to the deep box, and the post plant comfortably positioned for the jungle. Oboe gets Gush. Grim in with a kill, and Naf seals the deal on Oboe. Sure enough, that backside situation works out wonderfully. Daps, what can you give us, bud? 1v5, turn 1v4, that's it. An 11th for Team Liquid. At least with EG, they, you know, can always potentially go for a European player, like they've already been yep. open to do with Sir. And that is a fantastic flash tactic to get a first kill here on this round. So, okay, let's see what happens. It is an A-ramp a hit. There are no right side smokes at all, so they're here to take the duels. But the duels are looking to be won by mostly the pistols. Stewie 1v3, can he pull it off? Close, gets oh, the second. No peek is here. Okay, Smihu takes his time with it. I think he's expecting Cirque to maybe fall off peak with him but it still works out just fine. So they will easily work their way into Connector, and once that smoke fades with this flashbang from Fallen, they're gonna pop into the A site. Cirque eats that flash a so bit, good. and it is very crisp in terms of the couple of kills that get the bomb onto the site. Plant inbound, and a save now potentially on the cards. And just look, and just like immediately look at the minimap and see how much progress they made as soon as that first flash comes. Um, Liquid have just been copy and pasting this play because it's working so damn well. It kind of fell out of favor versus some teams because of the way they're playing jungle or sitting on the stairs because either of those players have to come through a, a smoke, which is an inherent disadvantage. But for whatever reason, these time, like moments that Liquid are picking to do this play, they're just executing it so well. I honestly haven't even seen a lot of teams try to take mid control away from Liquid when they've gone for it. They mostly respected it. But when Liquid have got that full mid control, no kills have happened. They've done a good job of either turning it into a cat split or their con explosions or just going back for an A hit. They've done very well to clear everything properly. Lamp flash over as Stewie comes out for the cross pick and that's it. Simple as that, Cirque is gone. Stewie remaining posted, waiting for that next player to come from site. It would be Mihu if he decides to over challenge and Mihu currently 20 and 13, make it 14. Fallen takes his head off. Can Spellin get back some mid control? Yes. Elise dies here, and it's only Grim to come in from underpass. If Spellin dies there, Obo has nobody here to support him, and sure enough, he dies spamming away inside of the smoke. So Team Liquid will certainly secure a 15th round win. Daps, if he's lucky, will get a chance to save. And now, unfortunately, the tail has turned to the point where it looks like the only saving grace of EG's CT side was that one round they win off of the back of the Desert Eagle connector push. Daps, you got another map, bud. Oh, man. And now Team Liquid... They're screaming a Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, the boulder is rolling down the mountainside, and evil geniuses are to the yodelers halfway up. And they're getting their liver picked out by a bird. Yeah. You know, they're just, they're singing their final song here on Mirage. <laughs> they would be saying that, okay. Daps, try as he might, gonna die to a leash, is just looking very clean coming off of that A ramp. So Team Liquid doing what they had to do, which was convincingly putting distance between them and their challengers of evil geniuses. This is the lower bracket match. This is for elimination, and this is convincing from Team Liquid. We will be back with Vertigo in just a bit. Sometimes the hardest opponent is one who doesn't even know what they're doing. And that might be the case here on Vertigo. We'll see. They might have expected and have some prep, but look. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He gets himself three oboe. Oh, I thought maybe, you know, 3K for Alish, 3K for oboe. Can you believe it? Alish killed Fallen. Did he? Mm -hmm. I want to cheer for oh. you. And I like this. Redirection. Misdirection, but I think they've gone to a bigger threat. You could have had Daps. Instead, you're going to get a little handful of Mihu. And, well, he takes a face full of damage. Drive by from Naf and Daps into the 1v2. We are watching NA Counter Strike cannibalize itself. Mm. Quite, a, quite an interesting mid round, actually. I like the idea behind showing yourself on B, but just committing to going A. Yeah. Because if Mihu had flanked, then he's not there. And if he's on A, it's still a 2v1. Daps walks in, sees the guy in the back, knows the other's close. Daps, if only, if only he had a couple more bullets. Sorry, I thought it was unlosable, so I didn't think Daps was going to come that close. That was a really good try. Spelt A-U-G. E. Smoke goes down on the molly. Daps gets wrecked, dude. That's the SMGs enabled. The tenacity, the speed, and the oh! spelling with the three kills on the AUG. Gets them all done. Nicely done. Considering Daps went down that quickly, this is an excellent moment from Spellin. Congrats, my friend. You got yourself a round win. EG nice. on the scoreboard. Attack it hard or have multiple people ready on the ramp instead of just falling back because if you let them get too far, you lose control. There's nice re-aggression. Perfect timing with some cover on Mihu as well. Oh, no. Obo lets him die, but he gets the refrags on too. With the Galil goes in. One more coming. Yes. Spray from Naf. He goes nice. down. Nice. Obo with the big 3K in the gun round with the worst rifle. So, Obo. Naf encroaching closer. Oh, ball and ready for the Daps peak. Oh, oh, and beautiful. down goes Obo. Not to mention Elige able to hold the smoke. Mihu thought maybe he could just throw himself into the mix. Could have been the idea. Bomb will explode. Two guns saved at least, including an op here for Sir. And all into the next one. Yeah. All things considered, not a bad one. Sir still are looking 6. great. Four. Yeah. So like the the Guala's edition, I think. Those are his. He made those. It's the it's the GA Fallen brand. Ooh. I, I believe. I believe, yeah. Well, Naf fakes the sound cue just in case somebody would have heard it from the top of middle. And Grim reveals that there is still presence wow. here on A. Daps, he tries to re-aggress. Wow, he should have absolutely, you know, got out of there. Grim just set him up for that play. Yeah. He was expecting to at least get control, but he got the kill as well. And now the 2VX. Okay, so Grim and Naf now are very low. Yep. Like, as soon as he thinks the plan is going down, because that could be incredibly effective. Let's see if it comes out. No. no. He's, oh, he's slow on the ramp. Sorry. Yeah, it's not here fast enough, but he does. Oh, I was going to say, arrive quietly still. Grim, so ready for it. Grim looking like a killer these last couple of rounds. And it is Cirque on for the 1v2. So smoke on top of Bomb. Over the box. Caps it within smoke. Doesn't take any damage for that. Misses, though, as he flicks down onto Grim. Falling in accuracy, fumbled inside of smoke. It's just, it's just awkward. Unfortunately, yeah. So they will peel back, which means this is four to four, but there's also no A ramp push, so the CTs are still spread. And now the entry's coming. Only one player in the site. The trade comes down, yes. but they get info on Cirque. He misses the second shot. Cirque is low as well. Damn. God angle here. Smokes the first guy and then misses what you'd argue as the easier of the shots. Oh, Grim gap next to orange. Mihu dying to fall in as he just comes crawling out from his cave in mid. I guess it would be on some other maps because of the nature of Vertigo, which meant that for Liquid, they knew someone was deep A ramp number one. They might even have info on two players there and then decide to just en uh, enter B real fast. 
they know there's no stack on the side. So in some ways it almost worked against them. But I think most importantly, it's just that Liquid used the information well. So this is also really unfortunate. We look at it from Oboe's perspective, he can't see a damn thing. He doesn't think there's a, a way to peek on that side. Yeah, they play that game again. At least that nade is just for Grim, but this time Oboe doesn't die. Oh, but taps Will. And they are bullying him in middle, but Mihu, oh, he doesn't finish the kill. Obo is there to get a liege, and Grim with 3 HP. But it's all going the way of Liquid. I mean, they're already on fire, and they show no sign of cooling off whatsoever. We can see the bomb isn't even planted yet, so they're all getting in position to basically just pounce on him. Oh, first target. Come on, search. Oh, uh, baited into it. Too tough. Liquid keep the ball rolling. Team Liquid are... I think Fallen can see him. I'm pretty sure Fallen can see him on this angle, but doesn't notice. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice shot. Team Liquid just a strong example of both A ramp success on the T and CT side. If you and your buddies are trying to replicate somebody on Vertigo, I'd say get the Liquid A setup in your back pocket. Come on, Dap. Uh, pretend he never shot. Mm. Spellin's patience. Aug up close. He's gonna get Naf in the background. No Stewie's even closer. And look at this. EG with a third round win. Mm -hmm. The approach from uh, Team Liquid. Uh -oh. oh, whoa. Hot. As I say. Too hot. Fire spreads. Four seconds to spare. Aug from Cert could stop the bomb, but Stewie uses that as his chance to take down the back line of evil geniuses. Now they're gonna be stuck retaking from Elevator. All three. They've been very cautious of this like potential lurk in the mid. But it's all in from Liquid here on site. Ali shuts down the smoke push for the first time. It's Stewie to get the second. And now Daps able to clear one, but it's over on the back shelf that Naf resides. And Naf succeeds in keeping EG on three. Team Liquid with their 11th. And Daps pushing forward. Well, he could get caught by Stewie here in the corner. Oh, ho, ho, Daps wins his duel. Wow. Naf uses this chance to go from mid to B to CT. And we'll see if he catches anything. Cirque could have just gotten away with a decent bit of timing, but unfortunately that's going to cost Oboe his life. Really primes Liquid to come over towards this A site, and oh. Cirque can't flick into Naf fast enough. So Fallen moves in with conviction to plant this final bomb of Team Liquid's T side, and Daps has 11 health for the 1v4. I'm going to call it a 12-3 for Team Liquid. Basically doing what they have to put as much distance between them and the challengers of EG, and a challenge is what they'll face once we've swapped sides. Alige very quickly with the CZ. Bomb has been planted. 5v5 pistol retake. Fun stuff. USB to the face of Cirque. The automatic CZ gets the head of Oboe. Mihu Holy on the flank, one Glock shot. Two for Mihu. Daps goes down with one kill to his name. And Mihu, come on! So close. So damn close for a little bit of a chance on EG's side. Instead, it is Liquid 10 round lead. Next closest teammates, Naf over on construction. So I feel like if I'm Grim, I just keep myself tucked. If they walk up, they walk up. He's going to hear them getting closer. Got hit from both sides. That's officially a bad angle. Yep. Good opening from Cirque. Naf peels two off. He got the headshot into Cirque. Very clean second kill, but Mihu very much trying to keep this game alive. Stewie rotates in, gets the better of Daps. And Alige, well, his flank just got shut down. Obo jumps up onto the wooden panel, and Mihu seals the deal. EG forcing the issue with their Galils. Well, Daps got something for you. Molly on his feet. Oh my god, he still gets Daps. Poor Daps. He throws the utility, flushes him into the open, and just gets Juan League in the teeth. But he can transform from IGL to coach. That's true. Just gotta switch out the hats. Fallen, Alige, each with a kill apiece. This is not how it's supposed to go. That last round was meant to give Evil Geniuses a chance. And the chance is still alive, but it's... A slim one. 1v4 for Cirque. Bomb in his possession. Pistol player is ready to push. Fallen doesn't have armor. Stu does. 
second plant gets the push to come outwards and oh, oh. so close i swear i saw blood come out of his he did head. He took damage man it looked good Cirque even putting the WTF in the all chat. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's to which good. Stewie says, all caps, all love, baby. All love. Baby. All love, baby. Get red. <laughs> Just turns into James Brown. Flash beyond the ramp. Oh, oh, on the way out. That's the Iverson. Why are you doing He was just on the way out. Oh, my God. Oh, and said, we talking about practice. Stewie. He pushes out beyond the smoke. Will be traded by Cirque, so the AK at least good for the one. Elijah's like, give me a piece of that pie. Key lime. That's some waffle fries. <laughs> <laughs> Oboe's Deagle goes down empty-handed. Daps is on the scoreboard. Come on. And Cirque used that chance to work his way into the site. This would be a two versus four. Now oh. kills Elijah. Grim has bomb control. With the molly. From... A long time ago. And now we've got the ring around the rosy. And Grim already used a smoke, so he'll try to go for a stick. Oh my god, nearly wins the round off the spray. He's got it. Cirque. Whoosh. That's what you deserve after being so close in the last clutch. He gets this one over the line. Yeah. Like, never seen more efficient routing. Love that, yeah. Good position from Fallen. They walk into him. Oh, nice. He takes two. He doesn't just op. Double headshots. Not just an upper. Nope. Meanwhile, Mihu looking for his one tap down on ramp. Spellin will get Grim, but again, it's the quad player that's really going to put an end to this, especially if Spellin's like, yeah, it's clear, come over. And Naf, you know Naf will take his time. Sure enough, Elish gets into position. Daps, nice snap, but Elish takes down his teammate and Daps as well. That's the 15th round for Liquid. They've got eight map and match points to send evil geniuses to the showdown. See the, the difference here is Liquid are going to be a lot less friendly about contesting. Oh, oh what, wow. wow, what a lineup. I mean, he used a ruler for that one. That had nothing to do with seeing anybody. And the phase of the smoke on the left side, How's that going to go? Oh, Close. Almost on the money. Mihu's got a chance to bring it back from the 3v5 at the minute mark. Cancels out a liege. And we've got Daps on the slow lurk through mid. Daps is crawling underneath Grim. He gets spotted and Daps wins the duel. That's a big kill to pick up. Mihu, however, caught in Naf's trap. Obo struggling with the movement is caught by Fallen, and now poor Daps, 26 HP in the 1v3, 30 seconds on the clock, and their tournament life here at the Blastfall groups on the line. An unideal situation for evil geniuses, with not only their coach as a player, but then a last second stand-in too, and they are sent packing down to the showdown. However, this is how it had to be for the sake of Liquid. They had to keep that distance between them and a team experiencing struggles to show that they are the true contenders in this group.